Hey guys, Alan here. Happy 2021. Uh, the last time I did a video video was before the new year. I think it was even before Christmas, potentially. I don't know. My release schedule is, yeah, lax and best, I would say. Highlight videos, sure, all the time. But weapon videos, yeah, slow. I think anything of original content other than <laughs> highlights is pretty slow, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, it's good to have you. Welcome to 2021. Um, hopefully, this year will bring great changes to yourself and happiness, but also, hopefully, to hunt. Um, this video that I'm doing for you now is basically a whole bunch of tips for new players, because one of the things I get asked the most is, Hey, Geef, how do you do X? Or what would you use with Y? Basically, new player tips. And that's wonderful. That means hunt is growing and... It has more of a community and we're actually getting more people and that's wonderful and I'm so fucking happy about that. So, I thought I'd do a YouTube video, uh, I'm gonna say brief, but it'll probably be quite long, about new tips, things you can do, uh, some players that I've made explaining things to you and why I'm doing what I'm doing and, like, right now I'm leveling up vid shots by getting hit. Anyway, without further ado, uh, let me just jump into it, let me run into the tips and, uh, yeah, you can go from there. So, this is a little clip we've got here, and uh, in it I wanted to demonstrate the absolute importance oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> of knowing when to run away. But most importantly, that Hunt is essentially just a game of 4D chess. In, with um, in this particular clip, and I will, you will see it, my partner dies. Right there. I don't panic, and I knife a motherfucker. Now, here's the important bit. I get to this corner here. I heal up. The guy should have pushed me. This this player absolutely should have pushed me. They just should have kept pushing me, but they didn't. Uh, right about here, I decided to eat a hive bomb at them. And he's got two options. He can run left, which would be dumb. If he runs left, I'm going to either res my partner or knife him. Or, if he ran right, I was going to uh, Jesus. probably shoot him. But I missed the shot, and as a result, well... Yeah, he didn't die. So as you saw, I yeeted Hive Bomb. He ran to my right. I missed my shot. Uh, he ran back around to the left. I ended up stabbing him. Because if he ran to the other end of the compound, I was going to stab him. If he ran at me, I was going to stab him. If he ran away with Hives on him, I was going to res my partner. Either way, it was a win-win-win for me. That was not looking very good for him. Hunt is essentially a 4D chess, yeah? You, you want to always have a plan, right? Don't panic. I think is the best thing I can say. Don't panic and hunt. Always have a plan. I know that clip is kind of like a bit of an amalgamation, but that's essentially it. I don't want to spend too long on these because I have a lot of tips to give. Always have a plan. Know what you're doing. Stay calm. And if you don't, just fucking balls the wall and hope you can do it. Um, next up here is melee. Stealth is really good for killing bosses. Uh, don't think that you have to go in guns blazing and just shoot everything. That's totally okay, but meleeing bosses is actually probably the best way if you're new of killing the boss, right? That's the best way to do it, is grab a melee weapon. They're usually littered around boss compounds. Uh, despite what anyone says, the axe is the best method, is the best weapon for killing every boss. Doesn't matter. Spider, butcher, assassin, the axe is the best. If you can find an axe, fantastic. If not, sledge will do. It's because the sledge will deplete your stamina bar in two heavy swings. The uh, axe will take about five or so, which is, you know, much better. Much better for damage, too. Anyway, find an axe. Uh, melee bosses. It's slow, it's efficient, and, uh, yeah. By slow, sorry, I mean silent. I'm sorry. I'm not editing this, okay? This is really rough. There's no script. I don't script things. I just, I just talk. I just spit words. Anyway, it's silent. It's effective. You should do it. Uh, next up here, you can see that I'm inspecting, uh, my Cordwell pack skin. This is the hide skin. However, what you can do, as you can see, I'm firing the weapon here. All weapons in the store have a 3D view option. And if you go into that 3D view option, you can spin the weapon around and you can fire it. Now, other than just sounding cool, what you can also do is you can scroll outwards and you can hear what each weapon sounds like at individual distances, ranging from up close, as you can see right now, the barrels in your face, all the way to a thousand meters away, which is the entire, uh, the entire map. Uh, the reason why that's important is because you can pick any weapon 
any single weapon and you can listen to what it sounds like. So if you're new to the game, learning what weapons sound like and knowing what's what, what's being fired from what distance is super duper important. Seriously, I, I other than learning map traversal and learning peak spots and all that good stuff, I think one of the most important things you can do for Hunt is knowing what weapon is being fired from what distance. Knowing that, you can tell what your opponents are using. So you're like, okay, well, I can hear a Mosin, so they've got long ammo. Or I can hear a Sparks, so they've really got long ammo. Or, you know, I can hear a Bornheim, so they're going to probably spam me down. They've got a compact sidearm. Doesn't mean they've got a compact primary, but they're firing their sidearm. Why are you firing your sidearm, not your primary? Is your primary a shotgun, right? It gives you ideas. It gives you information. That's probably one of the most important things to learn. So go into the store pick a weapon, any weapon, probably all of the weapons, and learn what each weapon sounds like. Scroll out, fire it. I know it sounds pedantic, I know it sounds dumb, but if you really, really, really want to get better at hunt, learning what each weapon sounds like is a great way to go about it. I, I can't talk about it enough. That's why I'm dedicating so much to this. Like, There's like, what, 25 weapons, I think, with 50 variants? Or is it the other way around? Or is it 50 weapons and 25 variants? And I think it's 25 weapons with 50 variants, I think. Yeah, it's a lot of guns. It's a lot of weapons. Go and learn them. God, that's gorgeous. Sorry, I'm looking at that skin. It's beautiful. Anyway. Anyway, that's that's pretty much all you need. Um, there's not really much more to say other than that. Yeah, go pick a gun. Go put it in. Go, go fire it. Uh, silence weapons, obviously, there's not really much point. You're going to hear those regardless. Well, you're not going to hear them, sorry. They're silence. You're not going to hear a fucking thing. But everything else... Yeah, just uh, just go and do it. Even the Derringer, even though the Derringer is very obvious, people think the Derringer is very silent, but it's actually not. You can hear a Derringer from like 200 meters away. There's so many people, friends of mine included, who are like, oh, it's fine, I'll just Derringer this hive. You're going to hear the Derringer. The Derringer is not silent. Like, easy 200 meters, <laughs> you, you'll hear a Derringer, okay? Uh, Nitro, you'll hear from the other side of the map. It's very loud and ominous. Avto... You don't even really need to care about uh, the actual the, the the sound as in in terms of volume. You can definitely tell it's an Avto because it fires a three bullet burst. The hard one for new players is going to be learning the difference between uh, a Bornheim and the Dolch. You're gonna have a hard time on that one. That took me a little bit, but you'll get it down. Anyway, go do it. I've talked enough on that one. Uh, the next tip, which is super duper important, is Patience is key. Now, in Hunt, and I'm going to touch on this later as a later topic, but if you're new, one of the things I can wholeheartedly recommend is learning to move as fast as possible, but as slow as needed. Because in Hunt, patience is key. Knowing when to fire and when not to fire is super duper important. Or most importantly, though, other than knowing when to fire, when not to fire, it's just take your time, right? Hunt is sort of like your dad's shooter, right? It's 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 a tactical shooter more than a mechanical aim. This game is more I want to say more siege, but siege is a lot of mechanical aim, right? This this game is your dad's shooter, right? It's a game that tactics is rewarded almost more than mechanical aim. In fact, I would say probably more actually. I would say tactics are rewarded in Hunt more than mechanical aim because if you're a good shot, that's fantastic. But if you know how to be patient, take your time, outplay your opponent, you'll usually do a lot better. Not always, okay, not always, but it definitely goes a long way. Um, as I'm saying, patience is key in Hunt. So I'm going to again touch on it later, but sprinting around the map, aggroing crows and shooting things is actually not a problem, right? It's not, it's not an issue. A lot of people think that, oh, patience means moving slow. Patience means... I'm not making noise. Patience means I'm being stealthy. It doesn't. Patience just means you're waiting for the right time to do the right things. That doesn't mean you can't make a whole shitload of noise, okay? The biggest mistake I see a lot of new players make is they get a hunter, they load into the game, and they just crouch walk around the map, and they don't shoot any zombies, they try and make minimal noise. If you're making minimal noise, that's fine, but you're also not moving very fast. And speed is king in Hunt. Moving around quickly is king. Because if you're crouch walking, you're an easy fucking target, right? And if you're not moving fast, 
you're not going to get bounties. You're not going to pick up the clues. You're not going to get the things. Taking your time to line up your shots in the right moment is super important. So is map traversal. So in this little scenario here, it's coming up. Yeah, it's about here. I take, I give you a good example of patience. What about hey, hey, yeah, yeah. What, like what bad habits, John? <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Where's the third? Mm. Where's the third? As I was saying, patience is super duper key. So right there, those guys had no idea I was there. So I just stood still, I waited, I lined up the shot, and I dropped them. That's hunt. Also here, uh, I get knife rushed. No, I don't get knife rushed actually. I get rushed by another player. I wanted. I, sorry, I put this in for a reason. Oh fuck, you're not wrong. I get shot, I run for my life. I'm like, oh dear god, oh dear god, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh fuck, I'm dead. He pushes me, makes a mistake, and dies for it. Uh, when you've hit someone, and you push them, and you've only heard that they've got a sidearm, be careful of a shotgun. Right, shotguns will ruin your day. Also, just to prove that I fuck up frequently. Fuck, I'm shit. <laughs> anyway, the point being is patience is key. Even like right there, I'm crouched in a bush. He's got no idea I'm there. I can just drop him, and I I don't. I was I was fuming at myself for for minutes after that. But I'm a perfectionist and whatever. Anyway, patience is key. Line up your shots, but also don't stand still unless you know that you're safe. Standing still is usually a pretty easy way to get hit in the head. Uh, a lot of good veteran players generally will like jump up and down, they'll bob and weave, they crouch spam. You don't need to be doing that, right? You don't need to be doing that. All you need to be doing is just keep moving, right? If you're new to the game, just keep moving. So patience is key. Keep moving. You should be good. Cool? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, like I said, you want to move as fast as possible or the slowest needed in hunt. Um, the next tip is in regards to weapons. I have a lot of people asking me what weapon should I use. So here's my friend uh, Richie, nitro headshotting someone at 80 meters, which is great. Don't do, don't think you can do that. Don't think you can just pick up a nitro and do that because I promise you, you won't. Uh, the nitro's iron sights sort of looks like an asshole. They're yeah, they're not they're not particularly attractive. Um, they're they're not a great iron sight to look through. It's a peephole iron sight, right? They're not great. So don't think you're gonna pick up and do things with that because. I just promise you, you're not. Like, you're just not. You're just not going to. It's it's a disgusting sight, and you won't have fun with it. In regards to weapons, if you're new, one of the things I get asked a lot is, what weapon should I start with, or what weapon would you recommend a new player? Uh, if you're new to hunt, I would wholeheartedly recommend. And this is going to sound very cliche, but I would recommend using a weapon that you're good with. And now that sounds so simple, like, oh well, I'm good with. I'm good with the winnie, so I just guess I'll use the winnie. Yes, use the winnie. If you're good with the windfield, right? If you're clicking heads with the windfield, use the windfield, right? If you're good with the sparks because you know it's bullet velocity, use the sparks. Hunt is a game where every weapon, minus the poison hand crossbow, is good, right? Every weapon is good, and weapons in Hunt really come down to not really how good the weapon is, but how good you are with the weapon. Yes. There are weapons such as Moses and LaBelle and Sparks to a lesser degree, but still Sparks that are good no matter if you're good with the weapon or not, just because of the raw damage that they do. And all you need to do is hit someone and they're going to feel the pain. That being said, if you're really good with a Winnie, you're going to absolutely destroy people. The Winnie is a head clicker, right? It might have a very slow bullet velocity of 400 meters per second, but that thing fires fast. And if you're good with it, oh, you're just gonna click heads. So, if you're brand new, I would recommend finding a weapon that you're actually enjoying the use of. By that I mean you enjoy it. You, you know it's bullet speed. You enjoy firing it. You know it's reload speed. You, you It feels good to fire. For me, that's the PAX, the Caldwell PAX, right? That's my, not like my go-to pistol. That's still the uppercut. But if I don't have the uppercut, or I'm just not really using a long ammo sidearm, the PAX is always my go-to pistol. 
9 times out of 10 because it's just good. It sounds good. It shoots well. It's it's just everything. Like, it's really, really good. It's a good firearm. Wholeheartedly recommend it. Just use it. Anyway, as I was, find a weapon that works for you and use it. If that's the Winfield, fantastic. If that's the Springfield, fantastic. If that's a scoped weapon, fantastic. Find a weapon, figure out its nuances, and just stick with it. Seriously, I know I've, I've repeated this like seven times, but just do it. Because there is no really, truly, honestly, amazingly good uh, starter weapon other than staying away from things like the Sparks and the Martini Henry because those are single shot rifles. The Martini actually reloads pretty quick, so you could probably get away with it. Um, if you're good with the Winfield, by the way, the Martini is just essentially just a bigger step up because the Martini has the same bullet velocity as the Winfield. It's just long ammo and thus packs more of a punch. So, yeah. However, on the other side, on the flip side of that, I actually think if you can use the Martini, use the Winfield instead because the Winfield fires faster and if you can just click heads, you'll you'll be great. The Winnie's the Winnie's is, is is a scary gun. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> it's a scary gun. Yeah. Anyway, so find a weapon you like. Find something that uh, works for you. The Carabiner works for some, but I hate its iron sights. The Carabiner's iron iron sights are just for me garbage. I don't like the I don't like its iron sights. But some people love it, right? Uh, I use it with a dead eye scope, right? But I don't really use it without that. Uh, the Springfield, I kind of slept on for a while. I didn't like its big firing hammer. I didn't like that it was massive. But the scope on it was just fantastic. So find something you like. Stick with it, okay? I've ranted long enough. There is no great beginner weapon other than the weapon that you are good with. Stick with it and stay away from single shot rifles until you're confident. Pretty much it. Uh, next up is if you're jumping into the game for the first time and you're asking how do uh, things level up, Items in Hunt, weapons in Hunt, uh, consumables in Hunt, tools to some extent, but not all of them, level up just through being used, but they have to be used in a particular way. So guns level up by firing them and gaining XP by killing things with it. You don't actually need to fire, that's a lie. You can just melee kill with it. If you punch a zombie, uh, you're going to get that experience. As long as you have the weapon equipped, as you punch the zombie with it, it's going to count as a kill. So. If you're trying to level up, say, uh, the Sparks, and you're trying to get a Sparks rifle to the Sparks Silence and then the Sparks Sniper, you need to use the Sparks to kill enemies, right? Uh, firearms, weapons, rather, uh, experience is gained through firing it. Tools, however, are a bit different. So the flashlight, for example, if you want fuses, or fusees, actually, they've got two of them, two E's on it, if you want fuses, you need to bring in uh, an electric lamp in two games and you need to extract. You just you don't need to get a bounty, you just need to extract. So if you really want and you really want fuses, just go in with an electric lamp and then just extract immediately and uh, do that twice and you'll have fuses. If you want uh, to get flare pistol though, you need to use the, uh, the fuses to set enemies ablaze or just punch them with a fuse out and you get experience that way. Vitality shots, if you want bigger vitality shots, you need to use the weak ones, uh, I think five times to get uh, stamina shots, or weak stamina shots, sorry, and then it's ten times to get vitality, and it's a further fifteen for stamina shots. You get me? If you want to level up your shots, you have to use the weaker ones first. So, one of the questions I get asked all the time is, why are you intentionally wasting your vitality shots at the end of each round? It's because I'm trying to get a bigger vitality shot. Um, now you know that's that's what that now you know that's how things level up so if you really want to level up your things quickly uh just take a partner and take a friend in get them to hit you go raid tool supplies grab uh the weak stam shots because they count great thing definitely do it um next noob tip and i'm probably gonna keep this as my last one because i've just been rambling for so long now my final noob tip is uh if you're brand new to the game more than anything more than the patience more than uh, you know, finding a weapon that you enjoy. My biggest, seriously, my biggest possible noob tip is play this game with a friend. You can use the random uh, friend finder, uh, not friend finder, the random partner finder. Sorry, friend finder. It's like a dating service. <clears throat> you can use the uh, random partner finder, and that is effective. Okay, it, in but that depends on your region. It depends on your country. If if you 
try and find a random friend in Australia or a random partner in Australia, they're just going to be a bunch of screaming cunts nine, nine times out of ten. However, I'm being told in America you can find some good partners. So if you're in the States and uh, that's where you're playing, fantastic, go for it. Um, but Hunt is a game that you should play with your friends. So if you're brand new to Hunt and you're trying to learn Hunt, I do recommend playing this with a friend. Even if your friend is also new, learning together will enable you to teach each other things that you otherwise wouldn't have learned or discover things that you otherwise wouldn't have learned through your friend's experiences naturally and they can communicate that to you. Hunt is a very intense game, it's a very fun game, but it does have a pretty steep learning curve, right? It's it's pretty steep and there's a lot of depth to it, there's a lot of depth. I'm, I think, 1800 hours in and there's still things that I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know that. Usually those things that I'm saying, oh shit, I didn't know that, are like peak spots, like where I can hide from people or I can shoot people from, but you know, there's still things I'm learning. So if you're brand new to Hunt, please, please, I implore you, try and play this game with a friend. Uh, don't go it alone. If you absolutely have to go it alone though, and you insist, or maybe you're just so much of a badass and you just need to go in alone, uh, understand that you do get more experience as a solo, so congrats to you, you titan of industry. But more importantly though, if you are going in as a solo player, please be aware that other than having no revives, uh, you are completely at the mercy of getting absolutely fucked over by AI. Because without friends, AI can actually be a problem. I know that sounds dumb, but without friends, it, it definitely can be. Um, oh, actually, no, one more thing. Traits. Yeah, sorry, I, keep, I just saw myself necromance this dude. We'll start doing it and cancel it. Traits are a big thing in Hunt. Um... I get asked, what is a particular trait that I should or shouldn't have? There really isn't a trait that you should or shouldn't have other than Iron Devastator. Never get that. It's dumb. It's bad. It's shit. Don't go near it. Um, other than that, pretty much every trait is good or serves some purpose. Even traits like a Poacher, which enable you to disable traps silently, sounds kind of dumb, but the amount of times I've come into a compound to go and murder someone, and I've seen a trap at the door, and I've just disabled it silently, and just crept in and murdered them, ugh. It's so worth it. It doesn't happen often, but it is worth it. So when you're starting out and you're trying to find traits, uh, I do recommend picking up things like Horn Skin, which in, uh, lowers the amount of blunt damage you take. Definitely pick that up. Horn Skin will be good for you because zombies are probably going to be hitting you a little bit. Uh, Conduit's going to be good. It's a very noob-friendly trait. It means that you get health back when you loot a, uh, a clue uh, or a bounty, actually. So definitely get that. That's going to give you some health back, some much new health if you're a little newbie noob. Ghoul it has been changed recently. Ghoul will give you uh, five health back whenever you kill a, uh, a ghoul or a grunt. It's a grunt zombie. It's whenever you kill a grunt within 25 meters, either shot or meleeed, as long as it dies, you get five health back. And that actually translates into bars that have been depleted uh, through health damage. So if you're missing a bar, not burned off, but you're missing a bar, you can actually gain a, uh, you can actually regenerate into that bar by using ghoul. So ghoul's a fantastic trait. Anyway, I think I've rambled on off about little noob tips, but brief recap of all of them, right? Always have a plan if you're playing. Always have a plan. Melee weapons are fantastic for killing bosses. Stealth is always an option, but it's not always the best option, but it is always one. Don't be afraid to run around and shoot things, okay? Speed is king in Hunt. Being as fast as possible, but as slow as needed is absolutely integral. Um, patience is key. Don't be afraid to run around and shoot things, but know when the right time to shoot is, yeah? Don't be afraid to make noise. That's going to attract players to you, and then you can set up an ambush. Uh, and finally, play with a friend, enjoy the game, and hopefully stick with it, because Hunt's a fantastic game, and we need more people. Okay, I think that about covers it. That's pretty good. Um, if you have any more questions or queries, or you want to hear me rant about this for another fucking half an hour, <laughs> um, I stream Hunt usually, but not only Hunt, but usually Hunt, six days a week over on Twitch. There's a link above if that's your thing. If not, no worries. Hopefully the video has helped you. Hopefully it's given you some insight. Um, if it hasn't given you any insight, I'm sorry. No worries. Better luck next time, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.